What you want to know is the producing exactly the same body positions or even the same muscular actions are going to feel a little bit different for everyone. This depends on a lot about your strength and flexibility level. So if you're super flexible but not very strong, now again, trying to control that arm and bringing it forward might feel like a lot of work for you, whereas it's really, really easy for someone else. If you're not very used to using a muscle or you're not used to performing a certain body position, it also feels like a lot more work. And usually when we're starting to learn a new thing with our body because of our coordination and how our muscle memory de develops, in the beginning, everything is gonna be more stiff. We're gonna need a lot more muscle engagement. We're gonna feel a lot more tense in our body. So what you'll probably notice is that over time, as we keep repeating these things, you're gonna start being able to perform the same thing smoother and with what feels like a lot less muscular effort. When we only focus on body positions, we might end up in these situations that the guy flying next to me, his position is exactly the same as mine is, but whereas his body and his wing is flying really strong and stable, I'm wobbling around with a lot of instability. Now we're starting to understand that it's not really just about the body position, but it's about the muscle engagement within the body positions that are gonna give you these results. What you want to think of though is that we want to recruit muscles to do these jobs for us and the more muscles that can be performing to produce one body position in my body the less each of them have to work to give you an example of this we're going to go back into this body position when we fly with brakes if i just squat down but i'm not really engaging everything my hips can move a lot my knees can move a lot now, if I'm thinking of tucking my tailbone under a little bit, I'm starting to find muscle engagement in the glutes and I have a lot more stability. If I'm also thinking of squeezing my legs just a touch towards each other, not even moving them, but thinking of that muscular action, now I'm finding even more stability in the same body position. It still looks the same, but the feeling is completely different. We never really want to be flying maxed out in, in terms of strength. And when I'm trying to produce a body position and if I'm using very few muscles for that work, each of those muscles need to work a lot to be able to create stability. And now that brings, brings a lot of tension into my flying. If I can call more muscles to work, the work is spread more evenly and I can still be strong, but fly with less tension. As already mentioned, everyone is looking for a slightly different feeling to be able to perform the same things. What you need to also understand is that you might be looking for a different feeling. So if you've gone belly tracking in a certain way several times and your legs are always moving around, that's not the feeling that you're searching for. So the feeling in your body and the feeling in your muscular actions needs to be something different the next time you're gonna go up there and try to figure that out. It's unrealistic to go and repeat the same thing on and on and expect for a different result. So we rather wanna experiment a little bit with different sensations and different kind of actions to start finding the way to actually do things efficiently.